Here are the transmission stories for the day. Unable to afford education because of poverty, Hajaba took to selling oranges in the dusty village of New Papdu in Harikula, which is around 25 kilometers from Mangaluru. One fine day, when some tourists asked about the price of his oranges in English, he couldn't understand a word. The duo left and Hajaba was left humiliated. Not wanting anyone else to undergo the same sort of embarrassment that he went through, Hajaba worked towards setting up a school so that poor children in his village had access to education. He started with only 28 students in a school attached to a madrasa in 1999 and saved every rupee he earned towards building a proper school. Today his dream has come true. There stands a school on 1.5 acres of land in the village with more than 150 students from low-income families across all religious and caste backgrounds. Hajaba, who is fondly known as Akshara Santa or Saint of Letters, can undoubtedly look back at his incredible work with pride. Very few have done more for women's health in the cold desert of Ladakh than Dr. Sering Landol. Even in her mid-70s, the retired gynecologist conducts a clinic once every week where she screens, counsels and guides women patients, particularly those who are pregnant. After joining the Sonam Norbo Memorial Hospital in 1979 as the region's first practicing gynecologist, Dr. Landol worked under incredibly difficult conditions with bare minimum facilities, delivering children and performing surgeries, particularly during the freezing winters. Nonetheless, she persisted, innovated and continued to save lives. More than treating patients, it was her contribution towards shedding the social stigma associated with women talking about the health problems that changed the course of women's health in the region. She was also a pioneer in broaching the subject of adolescent healthcare education in schools across lay, family planning and institutional deliveries. Nearly 17 years ago, in the picturesque West Jantia Hills of Meghalaya, Trinity Sayu, a School teacher realized that the Lycian variety of turmeric that most farmers grew in the region was low on yield and curcumin, the active ingredient in turmeric, which has potent biological properties. Harking back to the knowledge that she had gathered from her ancestors, she found that Lakdonga variety produced extensively back in the day is superior to Lashin and has 7% curcumin, which is 2% higher than Lashin. So she began growing Lakdonga variety as a result of which her family began earning three times more than the other farmers in the area. As the word got around, the heads of nearby villages invited her to train farmers in turmeric cultivation. Today, 900 farmers in Meghalaya are growing Lakdonga turmeric and earning well enough to lead a decent life. On her part, Trinity has assisted in the revival of the Life Spice Federation of self-help groups and hired women from 98 self-help groups. Under her leadership, the Federation now exports Lakdonga turmeric to southern states like Kerala, Karnataka and other northeastern states.